Flanagan. Good switch. Now to Shearer. Right, have a go here. Shout to Shearer. It's a great effort and it's gone in. Luke Daniels can't keep it out. He replicates what he did last season, scoring at the Hawthorns. It's two in two on his return to Liverpool for João Carlos Teixeira. You know, just because it doesn't work out for you on loan, it doesn't mean that you, you can't progress. It's all about taking the experiences of that loan move and taking it into this level. And now Vidra is away. It's a good ball, hesitation, and 1-1. One, one. He doesn't miss those. The lethal Czech striker, Matai Vidra, makes it 1-1. One, one. Just a ball over the top. Danny Ward perhaps caught a little bit flat-footed, and 1-1. One, one. Well, it was, it was a long ball over the top, wasn't it? Vidra wasn't sure he was going to get there at first with the, the pace on the ball. Maybe Dan Ward just delayed coming out a little bit. In the end, it was inviting for Vidra just to go around him and slot the ball into the empty net. Yeah, I think that's what the communication was saying there. The defenders were just saying to Danny Ward, maybe he could have got, got out a little bit quicker. Good skill by Roof. Morgan. Oh, and Adam Morgan getting caught out on the edge of his own box and it's fired in. And West Brom in front. And George Thorne with an unstoppable strike beyond the reach of Danny Ward. And it's 2 1 Neil Mellor. Yeah. I think Adam Morgan be disappointed. He's got to look after the ball a little bit better. You can't lose the ball in those sort of areas, coming back to your own goal. In the end, Thorne strikes the ball. I think Dan Ward certainly over to that side. Maybe a little bit disappointed he's not saved that one as well. I know Adam Morgan not comfortable playing on that right-hand side. But certainly, you can't do that. And Thorne, who's made 10 first-team appearances for West Brom, is an England under-19 international. He's had experience on loan at... Portsmouth, good striker of the ball as he showed then. Brad Smith who scored that screamer against Tottenham playing on the right hand side of midfield. Back at home today at left back but Liverpool getting caught out in dangerous areas and this is Vidra on his left pair, good block by Paez but Kemar Roof has made it 3-1 and again all Liverpool's own doing at the back Neil. Alex will be furious with that again, really. Liverpool guilty of losing the ball in a dangerous area and then being punished severely. Well, it comes from the throwing, doesn't it? Brad Smith throws the ball into to Shearer. It's not a good enough ball back to him. He has to be more certain with that ball back to him. West Brom can break. In the end, it's a fantastic finish. He gets a bit fortunate when the ball comes to him here. I think it was a shot, wasn't it, by Vidra? It just breaks nicely to Roof on, on the left-hand side. And, you know, it's a fantastic finish for the first time, but... Again, it's, it's all through Liverpool, giving it away from a throw-in. It's so important from throwing to keep possession of the ball. Adam Morgan over the free kick. There's Rafa Paez and Lloyd-Jones have come forward. Ryan McLaughlin, the only Liverpool man back. West Brom with everyone back for this set play. Got some big fellas in there. And it's Brannigan with a flick header and it's in. It's 3-2. Cameron Brannigan will claim it, and Liverpool are back in it. And now Vidra. Good football, Paez fouled him, and it is a penalty. Paez with the foul on Matai Vidra. And Liverpool punishing, really. They were searching an equaliser. And against the run of play, Vidra, who is a good player, and he just caught it, Paez, penalty. Yeah, no complaints by Paez there, he just gets himself square on, doesn't he? Vidra knocks the ball past him, just runs into the thigh of Paez, no complaints from Paez, a definite penalty. Good experience by Vidra. And Kimar Roof has already scored one goal in this game. A short run-up against Danny Ward, who's doing his best to try and put him off. Roof, nicely done, West Brom lead 4-2, and surely now... That's probably the winner, Neil Mellor. You'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Disappointing. Trying to get back into the game, being the better side this second half. It's a good penalty. It's ended up in the back of the net. Ward goes the right way, he probably saves it.